Hello from the Wyndham Garden Lake Buena Vista Hotel in the Disney Springs area. I am here this weekend for the 50th anniversary of Walt Disney World, thus my shirt today. Um, so staying here, most of the ones on property were already booked up and I figured why not give some of the non-Disney resorts a try. So this is one of the good neighbor hotels, so benefit to this one and uh, the dolphin, I didn't mention it in that video, but you get all the benefits of a, resort, a Disney Resort guest. So you get the dining window opening up earlier, you get the early entry into the theme parks, so all pros for staying at one of these resorts and for a fraction of the price. So this one I think runs about 150 ish per night, so slightly more than the value resorts, but yeah. So this is a, just a standard uh, two queen bed room at the Wyndham Garden Lake Buena Vista Hotel. So on with the room tour. So first things first, this is kind of set up with the exterior hallways. So this is the door to walk in, and this is the very large window. Um, can't really see much. You can see the Disney Springs parking garage. That's about it. I'm on the fourth floor. This is room uh, 4041, I believe. Um, so yeah. So first things first is a little kind of sitting area, nice chair and lamp and a little table. And then keep turning to my right, and we have the two beds. This room is at least very clean, unlike the dolphin. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, check out our last video, and I'll put that link up, up above. And the lamp works by the beds, so that's another, another plus. Um, but overall, just looks very, very clean. The lobby was pretty impressive, and I would say it smells very similar to, like, the beach club. So that was a nice little thing to walk into. Um, but yeah, nice little headboard. It's just very, very bright in here. Um, I know it looks a little dark in the video, but it does, it is pretty bright in here. Um, and I did notice most, if not all of the outlets have USBs in the wall. So very happy to see that. I can finally charge my phone tonight since the lamp yesterday did not work and I could not charge my phone. So turning around completely. We have the entertainment center, which is some, some nice like wooden slats, and I would assume this would be a mini fridge, a very large mini fridge, with a little freezer component. So that's another little plus since the Disney resorts are getting rid of those and we didn't have a freezer component at the Dolphin. So nice to see that. The drawers are, oh, that's not a drawer. Here is where the coffee maker and ice bucket and teas and coffees are at. And then I would assume the rest of these are drawers. So yes, very, very large, deep drawers that we have here. And here is the safe. So looks like four drawers. The mini fridge is over there. The coffee maker and such is over here. And the safe is over here. So. Interesting setup, but it is a fairly nice way to save some space and make sure you get all your amenities in there. I do like this little kind of sitting area to put shoes on or whatever with some stores underneath as well when you first walk in the door. So that's kind of nice. And I did like they do have some cute little uh, coat rack hooks. So with the birds, you don't really see coat racks very much in, at least not three like that in a lot of the hotels anymore, so nice to see that. Fairly large TV, and again, the USBs in the outlets. And then heading over towards the bathroom area. Fairly decent size um, counter space. Nice lighting with the mirror. There is no makeup mirror though, so that's one thing to note. And then underneath the sink is the towels and trash can and extra toilet paper. And the hair dryer is in that little cubby. And then our closet is set up very strange in that the hooks go this way versus this way. So odd, but have some hooks in here with the iron and ironing board but otherwise it's a fairly standard, kind of small closet. So 
if you plan to stay here, don't plan on a lot of closet baits, I guess. Um, the soaps look interesting. So it looks like we have some grapefruit shampoo and conditioner and a cucumber and melon body souffle. So that's, hey, if you want to be a little fancy and you have a cucumber melon body souffle, then come out, come check out the uh, Wyndham Garden Lake Buena Vista. And then turning into the bathroom itself, fairly standard bathroom, toilet, pretty plain uh, shower area. But yeah. Okay, so first impressions of the room, overall pretty nice. Um, I am curious because I'm the corner room, so the elevator is kind of like right around the corner there. So I don't know how noisy it's going to be. So far it seems to be pretty quiet, um, but we'll see. And I'll see how the beds are, but first impressions, it's a fairly nice room. I mean, as nice as it is for the $150 a night. So I would consider staying here again, depending on if anything else goes wrong, because as we know from the dolphin, things can go wrong pretty easily. So I will check in with you tomorrow for my final review of the room. Okay, today is my checkout day. So overall thoughts on the room. The beds were comfortable, uh, nothing to play out there. It was a bit noisy with the um, doors closing and just people walking by. Um, the elevators were kind of right around the corner. So that was my, big, my biggest complaint. The room itself was totally fine though. Uh, I could definitely see myself staying here again just because of proximity. Like you literally leave the parking lot and turn right and you are like immediately right at the light in front of Disney Springs. So very easy to get to anywhere you want to go basically. Um, but yeah, for basically the price of a value resort, this is a great option if the Disney resorts are full. Um, I think that between here or like say Pop, I would probably pick Pop Century just to get the Disney the Disney feel. Um, if you have a car, parking is $15 per day at the value resorts and here it is $20 per day. And I will say if you don't have a car here, it might be a little difficult to get around. They do have a Disney shuttle. You have to kind of register for it a day in advance. And it says that you can get a discount code from the front desk for like complimentary passes. Um, I don't know how much it is otherwise, but that can add up if you use that or take an Uber or Lyft or whatever. Um, so just something, something to keep in mind. Something else that's rather nice about this resort is, although I'm kind of far from the lobby, like it would be quite a hike to get over there. Um, the lobby does have a Joffrey's and a uh, breakfast buffet option. So I think the breakfast buffet said it was like 22 or $24 per adult. Um, and it's nice to just have the Joffrey's on property. So extra little perks to stay in here. But yeah, yeah, overall I'm satisfied with, with this hotel. Great option in the Disney Springs area. So that will do it for my little stay at the Wyndham Garden Lake Buena Vista in the Disney Springs area. So thank you so much for watching and we will see you real soon.